Hello! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create and manage forms in HubSpot CRM. The first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your HubSpot CRM account, which of course I've done right here. The next thing is, how can you create an account on HubSpot? It's pretty simple. The first thing I'd like you to do is to launch any browser of your choice. Now, once you launch any browser of your choice, go ahead and locate the search bar. In the search bar of your browser, type HubSpot.com, and that's going to take you to the official website for HubSpot. Once you get into the official website, the next thing that you have to do is to check the top right corner of your screen where you're going to find the Get Here and For Free button. Click on that and follow through the on-screen prompt to sign in, use an existing account, or to sign up by creating a new account. Now, after signing in successfully, it's going to take you to this fantastic homepage where you can now explore a lot of features to have an exciting time in HubSpot. So now that we're here, let's hop into today's tax, which is pretty much simple, how to create and manage forms in HubSpot. Now, from this homepage, you're going to have to head over to the top corner of your screen where you have contact, conversations, marketing, sales, commerce, service, automation, and reporting. Go ahead and click on marketing, and you have an extended menu that says art, email, landing pages, website, social, SEO, campaign, design tools, and forms. Now, click on forms because we want to create a form, right? So, it's going to take you to the forms window. Okay. So, now that we're here... Let's see how we can create and manage a form. Now, from here at the top right corner, we're going to find this create a form option. So click on create forms. And here you're going to have to select your form type. So let's say standalone and click on next, which is the next thing here. So you have a template. You want to use a blank template or a payment template registration. Or let's, let's say registration. Now, from this registration, click on start. It's going to take you to the forms um, editing window, which we have here. So now that you're here, I'm going to click on skip the tour. So here you have all of this um, frequently used properties, email, first name, last name, phone number. What exactly do you want um, this to be? So let's say I want to edit this. So click on this contact property, head over to the left corner of your screen, and you can now change this. If you want to remove this email, you can even make this. Just change it to your email. And that's just going to be click on done once you're done. And then the next thing is, you can see the changes are here. Next thing is first name. So if you want to edit this first name, you can edit right here and change it. You can click on help text, place it all that. So whatever you just want to do, it, just have fun with it. You have existing properties. That's the existing properties. If you want to create new properties, click on create new to create new properties. Let's say single line text and number, single check box, check boxes, drop down, multi-line text, however you want to do. Let's say drop down can click on this and now change this let's say contact content information label what kind of label do you want this to be type in the label type in the description and click on next and once you click on this you can see that a new property will be added and that property will be added right here so you can click on existing properties so once you're done with the form go ahead and click on this update option that is here now once you click on this update option that's um, pretty much all you need all right, click on this update option, and then the next thing you have to do is to click on publish. That says this has been published. So I'm going to click on X and go over to my form. So I'm going to click on back to all forms, and it's going to take me right here. So scroll the way that you can see what I just created. So new contact us form. Here you go. So if you want to manage this, you can even click on the form that you created to just manage it from here. So this is the performance. You can click on edit form if you want to edit this form. Uh, this is performance. If you want to check performance, you want to analyze and you want to check conversion, conversions or submissions. This conversion rate submissions. You can check all of them here to manage them. Click on edit form if you want to edit. Click on export submissions or click on actions. Now back to all forms. Now, you can use any of these options right here in this forms window to actually monitor your forms. This page view, submission, spam submission, form submissions, you can monitor them from here. You can add views to help enhance your viewing, of course. And then you can click on all views to check all views. You can check on videos. You can check on, click on save view once you have selected a particular view. Like right now, we're using the published view so we can see right here. So this is pretty much the process. This is how you can create and manage forms in HubSpot CRM. I can go for this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps. And once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this tutorial marvelously helped you search.